all fulfilling their destinies. Working for Marteau. Oh, what a glorious destiny that would be, huh? Uh, we got a door in here. Let's see. We got some intel to grab from this side. And lore. More lore. Crossroads Network Operation and Logistics 4. EAE's labor and security applications. In the early stages of Lucanar exploration, endemic apparitional entities, or EAEs, posed a significant threat to Marto infrastructure and personnel alike. But with time, we have learned to understand these entities and have even experienced a level of success at taming them. Initial attempts at training EAEs were exclusively security-based, like guard dogs. We would condition them to patrol Area X and raise an alarm if threatened. Operation Sisyphus, our pilot program in training EAEs to perform assembly line tasks, is proceeding slowly. The board is optimistic about this exciting program's eventual success, at which point the newly minted uncompensated apparitional workers, or UAWs, will become available to assist in the founding of new Lucanar Enterprises. They just straight up put in the fact that they're not un they're unpaid. Just just flat out put that in the in the name. Okay, cool. Uh, <clears throat> got an inspection over here. Supernatural research. The shelves sag under the immense weight of stacks of dog-eared tomes covering every subject imaginable, both natural and supernatural. Got a medical kit right there. Okay, cool. And uh, I guess we'll just proceed. There's a... Um, what do you call it? I guess a reinforcement pad. That's what it's called. Reinforcement pad over here. Oh. Absolutely packed with hungry feral shades. Uh, you should start seeing them just about now. I see. Okay, so he's uh he's toying with me. Fair. Alright, so five enemies. It doesn't seem that bad. However, this one here has evasion already built in, so does this one. So a couple of uh evaders here. Um I'm gonna go and say I don't know exactly what this like if he's probably gonna be able to see me from there but we can always take control of one of them and i feel like if i'm gonna take control of one i should take control of this one since he's over there with them already so i probably should grab this guy yeah he's the only one i can grab here 300 i'm gonna go ahead and mesmerize him now it is mine. so we that we don't to have to deal to with glass. both of them at the same time Okay, uh, at that point, we should probably see about getting rid of this guy's evasion. Uh, ooh, all I can do is hit the void operator, void generator, huh? Uh, okay, well, we definitely want to have some sort of cover. Um, can't see him from there. Can't see him for really anywhere. Um, I guess this is the safest place to be if you want cover from this guy. And we're hope I'm hoping to just take this guy down right now, I think. Um, if I can get close enough to him. This might be a bit of a challenge. Uh, let's put Ingrid forward here. And I think we'll go Salamander on this side. Oh, man, it just doesn't go far enough. Ugh, that sucks. All right, fine. Fallen. It does look like she's obscured from that other one. So we'll try the Fallen instead. Um... Let's go with that one. I charge extra for this. Hey, Let's get some damage on him. Save some for me, will you? Um, definitely serpent. Definitely want this the. Do nicely. Definitely want that extra AP, and I think we're gonna try to basically push in as much as we can at this one. So we're gonna we'll go here. We'll hit we'll hit this guy for everything we can hit him for anyway. Celestine, I'm gonna need. I will face my fate. Oh, good. I'm going to need... Can I get one more? I, I would really like one more for this. This little sequence I want to do. I, I think I need one more. Oh, man. Just one more try. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, it's not going to happen. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Okay. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> it's over. It's done. We're we're not going to have what we need. Um, it's just the way it is. I will take you to here. All right, Eddie, you're first. I want the enemy's target attack will absolutely miss thing to happen right here. Come on now. You really think you got a chance? Because we are not going to be able to kill that thing this turn. 
Uh, we're then going to ghost fire because it takes extra damage. Allow Bop. me to open your mind's eye. So 80 damage on that. And then we'll hit it with the arcane burst. Now that is also still zero. Mm. All right. Tell you what, let's, let's take the adder's kiss. We're going to miss, but we get a second one. There's the evade. And, uh, we now get a second one if we want to. We know, we know the attack will miss. The, the, the next attack will miss here. So the blow straight we're going to stab true. there. And then we're just going to get the arcane burst there. And that will get us a whole lot of damage on that thing. And hopefully they take it, take their aggression out on the shade. If, if, if that's something that they're willing to do. Don't go after me. Okay. They're going to go so after fast. me instead. Yep, they're gonna go after Ingrid instead. All right, that's quite the distance you can travel and still hit. Just gotta say, I wish you were able to. Uh oh, I'm glad you missed. This absolutely will miss. So let's let him try it. There we go. Close one. And we should be able to freak this guy out. I believe there's enough. Oh, uh, his health. Nine, yes. <laughs> nine damage on that hit okay so eddie we can also do dual shot with you how much damage would you do you're gonna leave two there's a 58 percent. well you're gonna miss right there's an evade so one and then uh this guy here too so that miss absolutely doesn't hurt but you should still get the stress right hard to see with this everything being all black and white kind of like this. Yeah, there we go. All right. So you're going to be able to take this person out. So we'll do that. Gets our signature charge back. I'm going to move you forward to here, but we're do a, we'll do so with Adder's Kiss because it's same mobility. The training Still getting the, the damage done. Uh, I think what I'll do is go ahead and Adder's Kiss from here now. I think that's cover, right? Is that cover? It is not cover. Okay. Um, Ingrid, let's get you to strike. Should be able to do that from here. There we go. And, uh, you'll then get one last strike, which is going to be free. That's Bop. what you get. Now we have three AP. Let's move you with your shocked self. I need to move you further. Um, I'm actually thinking, nah, let's just do salamander instead. We'll move. Oh, that's, that's two movements. Damn it. I, I misclicked. That's a misclick. Uh, we'll hit both of these guys here. I've always got a light. But now we're out in the open because of that misclick. Um, so I think the task now is to take control of this guy so that it doesn't matter if she's out in the open. I guess that's what we have to do. But then getting her her mesmerized back. How we go about doing that? Let the cards fall as they may. Uh, plus stress. I might have to just to save her from getting shot. Bullseye. Kind of useless. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish I could bullseye the other guy, but I can't. So we'll go bullseye on you. Bop. Only one of us walking away from this. 126. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, man. All right. We're going to move Alexandrite up to here. You can at least see the guy with the gun and shoot him for 70. And I think, uh, damn, I think Ingrid's going to get popped here. I would hope that she doesn't die from it, but I think she might get popped here. I'm not sure there's anything I can do about it without, I can curse. Uh, yeah, I can't force him to miss. I'm going to take control. I, I don't I don't want to deal with more damage. I'm trying to hold off. I have med kits, though. Like, I have got plenty of them. And we know where another one is. Maybe it's all right. You know, I think I might take the risk. Right here. Um, I'm going to go here. Can I see him from there? I want to at least be able to shoot him. It doesn't look like I'm getting vision of him anywhere. I have it from where I am. Let's just throw this. As the soul rots, so do the flesh. That's a crazy good crit. 
Uh, that's a huge clutch of a crit right there. He's gone. And that leaves us with just two enemies remaining. Uh, awesome. I'm going to move you back here to help protect um, Eddie from getting hit by this thing as it comes up. So I'm going to go here. Try to protect Eddie. Because the little shadow ball thing is coming in. Maybe I can get the melee overwatch on that and just take it out before it's too late. All right. He is an enemy now. So we can take him out. There it is. That's what I wanted to do right there. There's no reason Very to draw good. a fight out. End All it right. quick as you can, however you can. Ingrid, you're up. We can hit this thing. Now, if we curse it, I think we can get her thing back. We already have it. I didn't have to take control. All right. Okay. Uh, so we can... I don't really need to adders kiss that. Let's go forward to here. Um, that's something we want to do. I think he doesn't have any evade, so get a couple of shots here. He's marked at least. That'll help. Uh, and then we can hit it again. Yeah, 55 and 28. All right. So a couple of misses, but we're still getting the stress build up. And Alexandra, it's got a shot, 85. How about you now? All right, and I can do it again, another 85, and this will definitely get it to freak out territory as soon as Ingrid hits it. So right here, we get the strike from this side. It'll, it'll freak out. Everybody gets new stuff. I don't really need an automatic summon at that point, but fine, whatever. And then we do the finisher right here. Ah. And now whenever it tries to do something or moves, it doesn't matter. We just, we just strike it where we are. All right, so we got ambushed, but it wasn't that strong of an ambush. Let's move. So, I mean, we're, we're kind of fine. And then Ingrid's got the med pack. We know where another one is. So I guess we'll just use it right now. Ah, uh, all right. I have all right. it. All right. We'll make sure we back go back and get the other one. But first, let's examine our situation around here. So this door opens, goes another direction. That's another, possibly anyway, another energy barrier to get rid of. This, my friends, is environmental control. It keeps the wild ghosts out there where they belong and contains the trained ones here at Area X. So this will get rid of the exterior barrier. If we can get rid of this thing. All right, Alexandra, it's got one. Go ahead and take Here's this guy out. For them. Get rid of him. And there's another. Oh, there he is. Uh, up. Oh. Nope, too late. Did it way too late. He was just hidden. Just like line of sight problems there. All right. So six enemies here. Uh, pretty easy tether here, I think. Should be a pretty easy tether. Uh, from you to you. You look nervous. Yeah. Straightforward. Um, let's go ahead and it's time to focus. get Serpent back on cooldown. We want curse there. Torment awaits you. We can hit it with the Adder's Kiss for free, so we'll do that. Ah. Strike true for those who cannot. Show them what for. Uh, I think I want to. Yeah, we can hit him again. It's not going to do too much damage. I think we'll be fine. There we go. All right, now just one more hit. And you will, uh, you'll freak out, and then I can uh, take control. Very good. Uh, this is where he is, right? <laughs> yeah, this, this is him. He, he, did he move? He did. This one over here moved over here. That's crazy. I'm mean, all right. I'm all right with it, but I, I need to take. I want to do the mind control bits and. Uh, I'm not seeing where the rest of the enemies are. 
It says we have six enemies, but where? You know? And it's just, it's just this, and then there's the reinforcements coming, too. I don't see them on the map anywhere. Maybe they're all the way over here, or... I certainly don't see six, but either way, um, we have only a few mind control targets. I'd like to move to get to get one right now. Why four? And just in case there's more that I don't see, maybe we'll move somebody else out there. Let's have uh, let's have uh, Eddie move up to here in case he sees something while moving. Do we get a vision of anyone else? Okay, there's two markers here. So I really want to get one of these guys instead. Let's take this one out because we can quickly. We'll confirm that. Because it's just like 300 now, you know? And then I want to move up to here, see if I can get a vision on one. Can I see one? Yeah, he's right there. I still can't get him though, so let's try a cult here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that AP. Alright, right there. Now tell me I can get vision of one of these guys. Like if I'm right over like if I'm right here, would I be able to see one? I still can't see him. Damn. Come on. Come with me. I am ready. What is this vision? Let's go. Come on. Let me see him. Get in there. There, I can totally see him now. There's my extra AP. Give me another one. It did, it, it worked. <laughs> I got three now. Okay, I want to control uh you. Hush. Forget your You're mine. For now. That guy's mine now. Okay. And with that being done, let's go back. Go back. And we'll take this guy and get our mind control back. Okay. Now I can set up for the uh, cover from that side or whatever. Like, I could just get in position. Eddie, uh, I'm going to have you protected by Ingrid. We're going to move Ingrid right here. She'll be able to... Actually, I think we'll just hit this thing. It's fine. I don't need to guard against it. I have the AP to hit it, so we'll just do it. Uh, and then we'll get Ingrid to move up uh, right here with Celestine. All right, Alexandra, you're all that's left. And we'll just sprint you up to here, let's say. All right, Eddie's all that's left here. We'll go Overwatch from that side. And our friend over there should take the, the blunt of the beating. He's the only one that they can see. I can't see him. I can't move my camera over there to see him, but I hear things happening. <laughs> Is that enough? Is that going to be enough? Yeah, miss, okay. Sure, there's another void, dude. Great. And now there's smoke. All right, let's move Eddie up to here. See what you can see. You've got targets. Yep. All right. So I think maybe we get rid of that evade and remove this from the board. We can get rid of that stuff. Uh, Ingrid, I could probably slide you all the way up into here. Probably. Uh, I'd love to do Salamander. Just can't get enough AP to do it. So we're going to, we're going to put you here. All right, and then Celestine, kind of the same thing with you, right? Move you up. We still have this guy on our team, so hopefully they start messing with him instead. I think we'll bring Celestine to here. And then Alexandrite, same thing. Move you up to be able to do things later. All right, Phantom's going to be useless. There's too far back. Apparently, they can trip those electric things, too. I had no idea. Our friend's just going to reload. Really? What a jerk. At least he's pointing that way. That's fine. 
All right, I think we take the... Probably should take the Void guy, right? Take Mr. Void to be ours, I think. Uh, let's tether... Man, I don't know. I guess we'll tether you. Probably not going to be able to hit anything else. So I guess we'll tether you. Well, first, let me see what Celestine has. Yeah, you don't even have your curse ready, so let's not bother with the tether. Let's just hit things. Ingrid can get up to about here. Probably a good spot for her. And we'll take the Salamander. Uh, I wanted to get all three of them. Can't get all three. We'll settle for just these guys then. You break easily. So lots of fire. He's going to walk into the fire while also standing in the cone. That seems like a real smart move. All right, buddy. Um, we don't have a whole lot of high odds to hit these guys, but... Yeah, there's the hit chance increase. Uh, how about we go warp image here? Your fear is as real as your mind makes it. He's the enemy, everyone. He is the enemy. All right, we're going to want to go only 5% to hit, really. This is 100%. I think I, I want to hit this. Yeah, let's do the certainty here. Gonna teach you to Remove him from the board so we can't flank in grid. And then uh, why don't we guarantee that your next shot hit misses? Come on now. You really think you got You're not doing the cone thing anymore, so I'm going to make sure you miss. All right, uh, Celestine's all that's left for this turn. We'll go to here. I think I'll throw the dagger at you. 35% though. Eh, I don't like the 35% odds. Let's try rogue. No, I think I'm gonna take the 35%. The steel, bright and sharp. That's a miss, all right. I mean, it was a 35 to kill as opposed to like a 30 a to, to just hit. So I felt like because if it does hit, it absolutely ends him. It was worth it. Void touched. He's not going to do anything this turn anyway. And they're just going to lump together for a grenade. We want to be in range to intercept that when they get here. All right. Uh, let me see. Ingrid. We're going... I think strike on this guy. That's that's a guarantee. Now you know your place. We get our AP back. Are over quickly. Actually, we get more than our AP back. We get more than we get more AP than we started with there. That's good. Now we're left with just these two. Okay, let's take Celestine. We don't have we have curse. So if we curse here. We can we can freak it out. I think that's probably the best play. Your mind is no match for my own. And then we want her to get closer so she can refresh, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oh, no, it's not going to happen. All right. Well, darn it. <laughs> That's my official my official thing is darn it. Uh, so we're going to have to move you closer this round to here without, without using mind control. And then Eddie needs to move up. So that he can freak it out. I need I need Alexandrite to move out of the way. We'll get you here. And then I think I'll take uh, this shot. I need Eddie first, though. With your dual shot. So you can get rid of the, the evade. So the dual shot here. Pop, pop. So that hits the that hits the stress button. That's what we're looking for. Here we go. All right, Ingrid. So he's stressed out, not going to do much, and we could take him out. But oh, that doesn't remove. Oh, she has it. Right. Okay. Uh, here's the game plan. Then we take control of you. You're on our team now, and then I'll refresh it off the Phantom next turn. That works for me. I can actually do it this turn. How did I get an AP back? What happened there? 
I don't know. I'm going to do this anyway. I'm not sure how I got that back. I thought I had to wait till next turn, but something's happening. I'm all right with it for now. Put you there. Ingrid, take you down. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's stick and move. Yeah, we'll stick and move here. Just put some damage on him. Okay, this is real fire, not fake fire. <laughs> a little hard to tell with the, the lighting the way it is, but um, we know now. My gosh, I have four AP. It's crazy. Picked up the frag grenade. And she just lost all four of her AP. I'm so confused. All right, whatever, man. Uh, destroy him. Right here. Just, just hit him. It's fine. He's still, he's still going to be on our team. Unless he's not anymore. He just got a, a yell, an exclamation point. Going somewhere? Maybe he won't be on our team anymore. We attacked him too many times or something. I don't know. It's hard to tell with the, the, the lighting the way this is. You know, the difference between ghost fire and real fire is a little challenging to see. Uh, it's just a little bit more difficult to see whether... You have to see the health bar to know really if he's on your team. Normally, there's like this sort of reddish aura around them and that tells me, but I don't get that anymore. There's just all muted now. So it's just kind of the way it is. Uh, we'll take the, yeah, we get him this turn, but actually we don't. No, we don't get him this turn because our allies will go before the enemy. So I need, I need her to move, let's say here. Celestine will be there. Ingrid, you'll do the, you'll finish him off. There we go. And then you're going to stand, I think right here. If they come through here. They're basically going to have to go between us. And that's going to cause us all to get our overwatches and stuff the way we want them. All right, good. Uh, we'll put ghost fire right on the pad. And then we'll take a step back. And Eddie will go here and overwatch the pad. All right, we're First really, really set for these guys now. We got nothing else left to do here. There's a little no evade action. And uh, that's the turn, man. We're good. So allies will do nothing and they show up and here I thought this party we should was completely wreck them very fast illusory burn they're all weak to fire and we just start they start getting smacked right yeah I think they just died <laughs> they did it processed everything uh but he just they just died uh very good okay well in that case um stab and uh stab huh yep and then eddie can just uh bop bop and then he'll be reloaded and good to go and on we go area clear Whew. all right we did our things recon mode is not necessary let's regroup Come on, all. and now this is illusion you see how like the ghost fire looks very similar to regular fire now because of the way the colors are yeah okay um let's uh take a step back here we don't need the grenades so we're gonna just gonna go ahead and get eddie to shoot that thing Two generators now. the way all the energy barriers can put now you sure have outsmarted me guess i can kiss my persephonite goodbye by the way, <laughs> that one also powered the safety screen. I wonder how long until the Wild Shades realized you've rolled out the welcome wagon. Time to grab that Persephonite. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay, I really want to find all the all the stuff. The camera angle is doing a really weird thing right now, which I mean, I'm actually kind of okay with it. I mean, imagine if the whole game was played in this. Maybe a little low, but if it was played over the shoulder, that wouldn't be half bad, right? I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed to this. You know, it's a little zoomed in, I admit, but yeah, you have to go turn-based and then 
out of turn base to restore the camera back to normal. That's been happening a couple times so Come far, along. too. All right, let's open up this door. We need a key. Can you open it? On the move. You can indeed. All right, take the iron key. And we have lore. A letter, a carbon copy of a letter dated October 1921. The paper carries a Marto Industries watermark. Lady N, probably Nicastro. If you want my resources, you'll give me what I asked for. Anything short of a full partnership, and I am out. Does that offend your Victorian notions of pedigree and bloodline? Deal with it. Or crumble into irrelevance as the future passes you by. You need me more than I need you, so tell Lord S. Strum to stop wasting my time. I won't agree to be Lord Seneschal or Grand Magister or any other new role he drums up. They're all just different forms, different words for servant. And I'm sure you're both aware. If you want what I got, you'll accept me as a scion of the banished court. With House Girondel in shambles, I know you've got vacancy. Otherwise, quit wasting my time. I'm too busy to play palace intrigue with you. That's, uh, I assume, Marteau, JTM. So. Uh, okay. Let's head over here real quick. The Vegertonic 2. Really? Okay. Okay. Grab that. And then, uh, Eddie? Uh, Ingrid, maybe? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Alexandrite, I think. Yeah, Alexandrite. I'm going to drop this. Pick up this. I'll take this. And then... Ingrid's going to pick up the medical kit right after she drops the frag grenade. Picks up the medical kit, uses the medical kit Hang back. upon herself, of course. Myself. Picks up the medical kit, and we proceed. Or the medical kit, the uh, grenade. And we proceed. Oh, look, another medical kit. <laughs> I think we just dropped the grenades, man. Is this a grenade one or a two? The frag one. So there's two grenade twos. Okay. Two grenade twos. Uh, do I have... If I'm right next to this, is that how we do this? Can I swap? Like a direct swap? Does that not happen? Not no. I'll take All right. It. We'll, drop, we'll drop grenade two. We don't need that many grenades. I would like to keep ourselves healthy, though. I don't know what kind of fights we're going to have in the uh, as we move forward here. We also haven't found all the generator manuals yet, which... I know it's only an optional objective, but I really like to get the optional objectives. And uh, I don't see any indicators anywhere to tell me where the uh, the other manual is located. We've already taken these guys out. This is that main room, but we still haven't seen these things trigger, so we're probably going to have to fight things. And I'm betting you, as soon as we touch this thing, and we like as soon as we grab this thing, I'm betting you this is when we we face Marteau. It's probably when we're gonna have to fight him. So let's get ourselves in position accordingly. I'm not sure if this counts, like what kind of cover this counts for. I guess what I kind of want to see is what kind of cover it gives me. So this is gonna give me this. Get, yeah, this is this is okay. We'll cover from this side. I think this is fine. We'll get we'll get you to be there. That's okay. You can be there. Uh, Ingrid's going to grab the thing. Alexandrite, I'm going to have you head off, head over to, I think, maybe right here. It's probably okay. Celestine, kind of don't, I don't know. Like, you guys are primarily melee, but if I have to keep you somewhere, I guess we'll maybe put you here. And then Eddie's good. Yep, Ingrid. So let's go ahead and grab it. I have the Persephonites. Well done, lamplighters. The ingot's yours. Oh, but the thing is, you're not leaving. Not now. Not ever. So we have a lot. No rules, kids. I'm gonna call some people in to fill your guts with lead, and you, you're gonna put on a decent show. Right. So we knew that was coming. Uh, this one here's got two more turns, so three turns total on that one. 
and uh these ones here just spawned with more to come so we have like four turns on that one and this one here is all done so we're gonna have to deal with currently a whole lot of enemies um we can take one of them right away i will face my fate assuming we have enough stress to deal with it <laughs> there was the ap uh all right four is good uh with that we're gonna go to uh over to here i should be able to see them from here let's go here and we'll take control of let's take you all right you are mine all the enemies are not going to take their turns they're freaking out they're going to teleport everywhere here we go uh yep yep that's what we're dealing with okay everyone's avoid can i have my camera thanks uh okay yeah i get it they're all avoid touched and they have evade yep we need this all right alexandrite time for the beckon i prefer to let others do my fight for me it is time for the beckon mm -hmm. uh we are going to also need to serpent so Allow that I can me. tether here and probably want let's say you tethered to the other ones I think that's probably how I'll do that so we'll say you tethered to I can't see that one I wanted to see that one I can't see that one all right uh you tethered to I guess this one fine you look nervous all right there's a good tether um hide <laughs> that's kind of the back of the, these guys are behind us so it's hiding is not really all that feasible i guess i can go here at least it gives me cover from three directions there eddie's got cover from i think what matters which are all these guys um I'm not going to be able to prevent the shades from absolutely hitting anything. So we're going to have to do this as best as we can here. We'll take two shots here and here. Pop, pop. And then we need to attack the other guy if we want that tether to happen. So uh, this guy needs to be attacked twice. So after we curse. So, so we're going to curse you. When the shadows deepen, so too the light. All right. Now we got the adder's kiss, but we have to go forward more. So we, d we can do that for free if it comes down to it. Eddie's going to shoot this guy. One and a two. Pop, pop. Buffalo Bill, eat your heart out. I was kind of hoping that you wouldn't crit him, but I'm under I'm understanding that you've crit him. It's okay. Uh, if we rogue here, we're going to need one extra AP. Uh, we're gonna need one extra AP. Okay, a cult. I don't think I have it. This will put him up to one missing, basically. So I need to move in and get free hits in order to do this. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but this is free. Rejoice. Wow. You edge closer to the great adventure. And then this leaves him with two unless I crit I did not crit he freaked out and I can take him now good 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 give me Celestine again please why why I should have got that refunded no 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 wait I should have got that action refunded why it's an adder's kiss against a cursed target. It's a free action. Damn you, game. <laughs> I got robbed. Absolutely robbed, I say. Uh, should we just ignore these guys? I feel like they're too strong to ignore them. But we also have two of these guys freaked out. Uh, so nullified. Plus, we have a friend on this side. They might go after that. Like, it might be okay. Maybe Ingrid should go for this side. I'm going to go here. I can salamander this side so that they can't walk forward without getting on fire. It's probably a good thing. 
I regret that it came to this. The, gods the entire way forward us towards us is now on fire. The phantom will kill him, which is not what I wanted. Damn ya. Whatever. Don't hit our friend. Hit the enemy. That's our friend. I mean, temporarily. He does have to die, but I'd prefer he does damage before he dies. And if you're just going to constantly do damage to him, that makes it more likely that he'll die. Uh, what are you doing? That's not... That's not... What are you doing? That is not how this is supposed to go. He didn't do anything. Ugh. Walk into the fire. Come on. Get in there. No? Okay. Well, the only one walking in the fire is the one that's already on fire, I guess. Yeah. You, you, you thought you found a way around it, but you didn't. And... Not burning. Well, you tried. The effort. You know, the thought that counts. Yeah. I have a feeling Marteau's coming in on one of these pads. I haven't seen him yet, of course, but I got a feeling he's coming in on one of these pads. Reinforcements. At least we don't have the Lords. Otherwise, we'd have a lot more shades. That's a good shade. Good. Very, very good. Well done. All right. Good. Uh, Celestine, we can get this back. And we should, because we don't have the stuff necessary. However... If we gambit and get one AP, then I can get two enemies under my control this round. And I think I like that idea. So I can take the Vigor Tonic this round. We get the signature reset. Then we can take, let's say, this guy. to help us from that side. Then we take this guy down, get our charge back. It was them on me. There we go. Then we can mesmerize again. This time uh, we take, uh, I kind of wanted the one that's closer to, eh. Eh. All right, fine, we'll take you. All right, and then we pull back to this side and we can throw the knife, let's say at, oh, both of these guys are, all right. Uh, we'll just build an evade from here then. All right, Eddie, I think now's the time for this in this direction. Yep. How do you like to taste the lead? Do a bunch of damage on that side. Got a whole bunch of marked people. Looking pretty good. And then the final blow here could be Bullseye. And it's going to be on our friend behind you because we're going to lose him next round. So, pop. 89 damage. Push us through the evade. Okay. Uh, we'll take a push kick on this guy. Push him into the fire. Pop. He's burning. Shocked. All the things. Uh, and then we can... Let's take... Uh, eh, I, I might actually just run here. Yeah, I think we move. I think we run here. I'm shocked though, aren't I? Sure am. I'm not getting out of here then. I'm not getting to any cover. So the stick and move is the only way I'm going to get... To any cover. So I have to do it. So I'm going to stick and move here. I like our odds a bit better now. Our friend is blinded, unfortunately. But at least it gives me enough cover, or enough movements where I can seek cover. I'll go here. All right, Alexandrite. Let's get some ghost fire. Um, I think on this target, right? Because he's not going to be our friend after this round. So we're going to want to get some extra damage on him. So I think we'll go, we'll go damage here with Ghostfire. 
and then we'll get a warp image on you. Your enemy is within you. All right, we're manipulating the board here really well. I don't anticipate a whole lot of danger for us this round. We got plenty of friends. Phantoms building out or using up the evade. That's good. We got lots of phantoms, got lots of friends, illusions to say, hey, this is the enemy. Come shoot him. Everything's so bright. He just threw a dynamite on top of his friends. I love it. <laughs> and now he's going to shoot that direction. Oh, this is so good. Yes. Yes, that right there. Mm hmm. Very good. Oh, joy. And he missed anyway. Wow. Okay. We'll take 70 damage. It'll just be the way it is. Uh oh Predictable. oh he missed him too wow all right we're about to have to deal with reinforcements again not happy about it but maybe just maybe there's somebody we can make freak out and take control of here there's a lot of almost dead going on right here so uh these guys are perfectly fine. This one's about to freak out, but it's also basically, yeah, I mean, it's, it's so close to dying already. So I need to do some extra damage to some things. Let's take Eddie. We're going to go one, two. This don't come cheap by the way. And Moot uses the evade. Now, I think Ingrid can then get her free hit here. Yep. So, bop. For free. It's that killer instinct hit. Um, now, we used your evade, so we should be able to hit here, but it's gonna, it's not gonna kill unless you crit. So, we can try that. See if you crit. Okay, we didn't crit. We get the rejuvenation cleanse. And now we should be able to hit for free. Uh, oh, wait. She have it? Oh, he freaked out. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, hold on. Celestine, come over here. There you go. Yep. Now you'll take this. Get your mind control back. Beautiful. Let's go. Uh... We're going to lose this guy next round. I think I'm going to take him. I don't want to be in the range of that cone, though, so I probably should stay here for a bit. Uh, if we use the rogue, we can shoot here. It's not going to do anything. Uh, not going to do anything there. We can get rid of his evade. Makes him a target for next round, but it's not great. Maybe the whispering knife. What's the chances to hit that guy? zero just absolutely cannot hit him from there all right um i don't want to use that on something that's completely wasted so i think we'll take i think we're gonna wait on the mesmerize let's remove his evade what the head is quicker than the eye that way the other guys can can take him we'll go with an evade here ourselves eddie uh, I'll just shoot at him. It's fine. Pop, pop. Let him have it. Little, little spirit ball there. Get rid of him. Alexandrite doesn't have a whole lot left to do. Uh, he's in cover though, so maybe we can get there. Good. Forty-seven damage is good. Take one more hit on this guy because we're again gonna lose him misses is fine because it just still raises his stress we can use that stress to our advantage later let's use the fallen on you no hard feelings. there we go all right so we're building up that stress it's okay he's a friend you can miss him just for now 
so bright. I'm sorry if it's too bright. <laughs> there's nothing I can really do about it other than uh, there's the obvious, which is like, don't record HDR. That is the obvious right now. I just most of the maps have not been this bright and this one is. Uh, I don't know if there's a way I can tone it down in post, but it's just it's just the way this map is. This realm is this way. So hopefully you're uh, still enjoying the last couple videos here. They're long. And they're all the same mission. Ah, that missed so bad. You could have hit him, all right? You really could have. It wasn't that hard. Almost with me. Almost. Good. I haven't healed Eddie yet, so. So that ruins the, the evade. We should now be able to get him much easier. I'm watching you, you know. There we go. All the way from the Hollywood Hills. So he's still in Hollywood. Never been one to turn down a gala and this caveat. It won't eat itself. Oh, you're the entertainment, of course. Now, damn. So he's still not here. See, I, I thought he would come and join us, but can't turn on a gala. I guess I understand. Uh, all right, let's tether. Um, I'm thinking maybe this guy. Yeah, tether you to you. Celestine, let's go ahead and get our curse on this guy. I am every horror made real. There we go. Removes the stress. Eddie, reload. And you're going to shoot at this guy, of course. So one, uh, two. Pop, pop. Very good. He freaks out. Should make this guy freak too. Yeah. So many summons. So many phantoms. All right, Celestine, time to take out this target. You have a Mesmerize available, though, so we want to use it. We're going to use it on this one. All right, good. Now I'll take this guy down from here is fine. This is a ghost fire. I will cut out your heart. Very good. All right, now we can also renew it here, but we want to take control first. If possible, uh, I guess we'll take him and then we'll focus on these enemies that just came in. We'll move, we'll shift everybody over to focus on them. That's fine. We'll take you. Uh, confirm. And then we'll take this guy out for free. So we have our mesmerized back again. Do a quick little snap. Uh, you know, actually, if the ball hits us, it hits us. I don't really worry about it. Let's go this way. And we can just move forward again, but we'll get some damage while we do. All right, good. Uh, do we have anybody behind us that's a risk or a challenge? This guy's freaking out, so we can just take him. Uh, Ingrid will go uh, here, I guess. Finish him off. The quicker we cut through them, the better. Whispering knife just got reset. Cool. Uh, Fallen can go to him, but that's okay. We want to keep him around a little bit longer. We've got three AP. We're going to run, let's say, this way. More forward. Okay. Alexandra, just move up. Pretty sure everybody behind us is on our team. Just, these two here are, are on our team and uh, there's only two more enemies over here Ingrid goes let's have you go here all right so I mean we'll kill him eventually but mostly I just mesmerize him so that we could move up and not have to worry about him because I want to take these guys out I was hoping to anyway, take those guys out before the next wave of reinforcements arrives, which means this turn they have to die or at least you be taken escape. care of, at least be uh, captured. And you're just going to walk over here, aren't you? Nothing. 
You're not going to help us at all. Fine. Be that way. Teleporting basically right on top of us. Okay. You're doing the cone thing? All right. That would be a phantom. So no problem. They're coming next turn. All right. Ingrid. Uh, just wait for a second. Um, we want to gain an AP this round. Allow me. Let's get that to be off cooldown. Uh, let's see. How do we want to play this? Depends on how many I how many I get here. Can I get to four? I fly, fly four. All right, I got I got four. At least four. Um, I want Eddie to get in position for the reinforcements. So we're gonna move, I guess, to here, out in the open, and you can Overwatch this. All right, Ingrid. Salamander here, near the back, so that. Although, man, Salamander here would be good. Do we have Ghost Fire? Uh, we do. We have Ghost Fire off cooldown. All right, so I probably want to move back for the Ghost Fire then. Although, if I put Ghost Fire here, that's probably better, right? Oh, can I reach that? I can. I could just Ghost Fire here. That's better. Okay, Ghost Fire there. Illusory burns are good. Um. We can then move you back. We need, we need to get ready for these. Um, he has to die as well. So maybe we'll shoot him. Let's shoot this guy. That's I think we have to journals. stay here. I think I don't think I can move, which is a problem because obviously this guy's cone is going to hit us. Um, can I get five. The of the coin. Okay, you're just giving me cool things now. All right, we're going to start with um, an Adder's Kiss on this guy. Although Ingrid can get a free hit on him. Let's not waste the free hits here. I need to weaken them a little bit more to get the to get more free hits. How about, how about the grenade? We could stay right here and grenade this pile. I think maybe that's the best play. We're just going to keep Alexandrite there. I know she's in the cone, but the cone won't exist after this turn. So I think it'll be all right. Um, we're going to start with the push kick from here. It'll push this guy into that guy. Although if I get the strike, it's almost free. It's so close to being free. Can we get this guy? Maybe a rogue. Can we get a rogue on him? Yeah, 40%. That's not great. Whispering Knife. He's got an Evade. Damn, I really don't want to use the Whispering Knife on him. Yeah, I mean... I guess the other the other thing is to just do this, right? Let's try the Onslaught instead. You picked the wrong fight. This will down them both, which will remove the cone anyway. And then we should be able to get the uh, the free attacks here. So this strike will be refunded. So let's use this use it on this one first. That's we'll hit that. Gets. That's a you 72 skills, crit. Carter. It's amazing. So now we'll hit here again. I'm not here Bop. to play games. We're gonna get trauma battery gives us plus one AB. Okay, both of these guys will go down. So these hits are now free with killer instinct. Pop. A glass job. Beautiful. And then we want to run this direction. We're going to get another killer instinct here. This guy. Pop. That was your last chance. Very good. Uh, and then I'm going to light the whole thing on fire instead of getting in there. I think I'll put a put fire on this whole thing instead. So when they come in, they'll they'll start burning. All right, Celestine's all that's left. I'm pretty sure we lose this guy after the round, so we're gonna want to Adder's kiss him to oblivion, I think. So, one. The veil descends. Yep. Again, two. Pop. Three. If you have peace to make, make it now. 
And... Oh, wait, no. It won't let me adders kiss this target. That's weird. Uh, we'll move over then. To here. And then we'll just grab an evade. Alright, is that it? That's it. Decent round. I was kind of hoping to have some friends for the reinforcements, but I think the fire is a good compromise. With everything being on fire, I think that's great. We do have two of these little balls. These little shadow ball things. And uh, they're apparently going away from us. More guards. Instead of getting, instead of trying to hit us. So they're all going to start burning. Some of them are immune to it, but we are getting the overwatch shots as well. So it's one of the big guys here. But he's going to also get shocked. Good stuff. Yes, absolutely. Good burning. All right. I think we just clean this up. Yeah, this is a cleanup job now. Excellent. Let's come over here. And we'll just hit this guy. One. And then two. Y'all taking notes on good, this? Good you crit. Really want to me? You get to hit him fast. Do that again. So he ends up with a bonus AP there. Yep. So he gets to move and shoot again now. He's moving towards me though. I don't like that. Um, Celestine, can you uh, help me out with that? Maybe... Uh, you already you still have your mind control we don't need to refresh that um if i whispering knife yeah let's get, let's hit him here i am the dagger the dagger is me get some of that poison and then he'll come towards you now and then eddie can shoot him again with the bullseye bullseye uh actually no let's do this dual shot instead that way we can take out the skelly too. So this will pull him back towards Damn, Eddie. Good. Or it'll knock him down. <laughs> I guess that works too. <laughs> well, now that he's knocked down, there's like no risk, right? That's perfect. So we'll hit um, uh, 95 Alexandrite. Um, let's have your 100% hit here first. And then I guess we can have you go ahead and hit this guy to weaken him down too. Now Ingrid can just clean it up. I think. Well, if not, we can hit here first. Yeah. They'll be able to clean it up. I mean, he's he's freaked out now. Yeah, so we can clean that up too. Are there any more reinforcements coming? It says there's three enemies, but... Are there any more? Do we just clean this up? Is this good? I think so. Yeah, I think we're fine. So we'll confirm this. A coin for your passage. There we go. And then uh, we'll Adder's Kiss the Skelly here. And I think that's going to take care of it. There's not really a reason to go and do anything else. So we just build an evade, I guess, here. Take this. Sure. And then... Uh, whatever right we just let it go it'll blow himself up and all will be well i don't know about the little shadow ball things though they're gonna hit us right they only do like 20 damage but still something oh shadow ball is gonna disappear over there i guess yeah not gonna do anything poison plus a death explosion <laughs> what is it, Howard? <laughs> I have no idea what's happening over there. What am I shooting? The shadow ball things, yeah. So they must be on our team. In fact, you can walk away from us. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I think they were classified as being on our team, and that's why they weren't attacking us before. All right, well, Eddie, there's so many things shocking us right here. Move out. But we got everything. Now, there is that optional objective, right? Of finding all the Martar generator man manuals. And, you know, like, I want to be thorough here. I want to get that. I don't, I know it doesn't, it's not necessary anymore. We're already good. But if it's just sitting over here nearby somewhere, it would be kind of cool to find it, you know, just to read what it says. And then we got, probably got beasties outside. So we shouldn't go too far out there. Uh, this door is locked. Everything is shocking us. 
and doing damage to us. So we probably don't want to do this much longer. Just because we're all taking damage with the shocks. Yeah, we probably need to get out of here. <laughs> uh, Eddie, you're you're fine. You're not dead. You're you're gonna be okay. But the shocks just keep appearing. It's like there's no way to avoid them. Like they're, they're kind of randomized in their their locations. Sorta, but it feels like anyway. Um, let's um let's leave the facility. We'll wait until this goes away, and then we'll uh walk through there there we go so see how the those little red squares right that's showing you sort of where the shock's about to be or rather showing me where the shock's about to be see there's more out here we don't have to deal with them but there's more out here am i not gonna find any more manuals oh there's there's another skeleton i guess i'm not gonna find any more manuals oh there's skelly there uh, I guess I go around this way. All oh, right, we need, to, we need to return to where we started. Right, that's the, the way out. All right, well, I mean, look, the manuals weren't really close by, and I know they don't matter, so I think it's fine. We'll just not get all the Marteau generator manuals. What if it's an achievement, though? What if, you guys, what if it's an achievement, and I just, like could have had it if I just spent a little bit more time trying to get it you know like what if I'm what if I come over here and it's just sitting in the sand somewhere or here's the thought what if I go back to try to find it and then end up in a fight something stupid happens and we end up with somebody with mental problems yeah it's not worth it I don't care if it's an achievement if it's an achievement then whatever but I uh I'm not really an achievement hunter kind of guy so it's fine let's just leave it's fine. It's optional. This way! The beacon will get us out of here. Three heists down. Everything Locke needs to cut the science off from the bright storm. Okay. Excellent. An ingot of Persephonite now flies towards the island. My agents entered the lacuna, infiltrated Marto's facility, and carried off a sample of the Scion's Ghost Forge metal. I, I love how the phenomena that was listed for this mission had the fact that Marto would be on the mission twice, and yet he was never on the mission. Graymore himself could hardly have done better. So now what's going to happen, huh? All right, completing the heist is an achievement. At least we got that going. Fourteen skill points gained. Pretty sure we got uh, an extra mode of fate there too didn't we i thought we did to get a card salamander card um i'm not sure whether we can actually upgrade anymore i think that's uh completed right this is max level so we can't do anything else there uh the gambler after dodging an attack this agent becomes inspired and re recovers five health Eh, pretty niche uh the whispers debuff ability cast a void hazard while on a Void Hazard, this agent deals 30% damage. Plus 30% damage. Hmm. That's interesting for melee fighters. You can cast it at your feet. Hmm. Or cast it where you're going. But I don't think it's better than what we already have. Um, maybe it's better than Abdiction. It's probably better than Abdiction. I'm sorry. Abdication. I'm sorry. Uh, it's probably better than Abdication because this one's only useful if we stress break, right? So I think maybe we replace this one. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. You see? I think I'm going to go there. Um, and then we have enough to upgrade this. It costs 128 ink. We now gain plus 30% damage and gain plus 10 critical chance. So that's interesting. While on a void hazard, this agent deals. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. So that's going to be, I think, straight up better than the other one she had before. So we'll discard the rest. Get back to the map. And let's see what Locke says, man. I mean, we have every single thing in his list done now. I know Nicastro is going to get stronger today and Strum's going to get stronger today. 
so they probably have a video too i guess uh persephonite sample obtained marteau job complete persephonite is the metal on which marteau's empire is built but when i add it to my atropic device and the agents carry it into the bright storm at the top of the tower it will be his undoing trace marteau's persephonite is ours everything's completed power mission available three heists four keystones the atropic device is complete it is time to enter the tower at the end of the world complete into the tower to place the atropic device at the tower's crown and defeat the science once and for all right in the center man there it is love it another potential agent eh? ah ana sofia rodriguez this is the the healer yeah we, we heard about her before trained in mystical healing like all magdalites are mm -hmm. so the rebel angel is available now too definitely would be interesting to see what playing the game with other types of agents would be we'll put this to use all right so most of that stuff is not worth anything court activity let's see what happens with the castro and strum now negative one threat all right break point reached the castro's break point the ocean the oceans the oceans yeah the oceans royal with unspeakable things their cries fill the air like a pestilent wind bringing ruin to all those who can hear them clinics spill over with hemorrhaging sailors all bleeding from hideous wounds the tide spawns horrid roar now also inflicts bleeding so it makes one unit's single ability slightly stronger not that big of a deal strum wildfire the fires stoked in Lord Wolfram Strum's name grow into roaring infernos. City blocks are fed into the crackling flames. Homemade firebombs fly from gloved hands. Though it through it all, the obelisks pulse, sucking power from every burned body. And Lord Wolfram Strum stokes his followers' rage, basking in the red light of destruction. Reaver attacks leave burning hazards. That's not great. That's a slightly stronger unit. Getting a slightly stronger buff. But it's okay. The Banished Court's armies are poised to enter the tower. We are out of time. No, we're not. We got everything we need, man. You did it. You entered the lacuna and emerged with the Persephonite in hand. Man, everything looks so colorful now, doesn't it? <laughs> so much different than that entire mission. And were it my choice, I would never return. I spent like two and a half hours in noir, only now to be greeted with bright, vibrant colors. No guarantee of that, is there? Everyone dies sometime or another. Who's to say any of us won't end up in that wasteland? The lacuna isn't the only place souls go after death. Dark tunnels, fields of flowers, lakes of fire, pure, eternal nothingness. Occultists have counted up to nine distinct realms of the dead. And some place the number even higher. Not sure that was as comforting as you meant it to be, boss. Take comfort in this, then. Tonight, I will add the metal to the atropic device, and a final nail to the banished court's coffin it is time to enter the tower it is time now we have the necessary number of keystones and the atropic device is complete our path to the tower is open the task ahead of you is clear you must enter the tower reach the place where the bright storm rages and activate the device inside it only one of you need enter the storm itself Ooh. Only one needs to enter the storm. Is that like a sacrificial thing? And uh, about those protective wards you are making? The wards are complete. I've tested them on myself using the keystones. Here, take them. They will allow you to enter the bright storm and leave. activate the device and leave in safety and leave in safety. OK, I won't downplay the risks you'll be taking. It's entirely possible that none of you will be coming home, but you know what will happen if we do nothing. I'm not about to back out now. Besides, the rest of you won't make it very far without me. I don't think we've taken you 
on a mission yet, buddy. I'm sorry. I, I probably should have, because y- you you very well may be better than Ingrid, uh, but I just haven't tested you out yet. No need for a speech. It is every true practitioner's dream to enter the tower. If saving the world is the price of admission, so be it. If it's this or the end of the world, count me in. There's no one I trust to see this through more than me. Damn it. Thought I'd be long gone by now. But I figure y'all need a military man to pull this off. So what the hell? I'm in. You have been an invaluable member of this team, Eddie. I have fought long and hard to reach this moment. I will not falter. Feels like my whole life has led up to this moment. Get ready, world. The gentleman Jin is about to save you all. So that's it, guys. It's week 27. We're going in the tower. All right. That's the next video. We're going in the tower. It's probably going to be a couple of videos because these missions are long. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you for the finale. Bye bye.